Pieces, there's, there's a couple reasons why I'll never get rid of them. First of all, they were my first two halfway decent mic pre's I ever owned. And we started tracking that record with my wife seven years ago um, with those. That was the main vocal mic. And then when we did drums, the only good quality mic pre's that I had other than a Mackie Digital 8 bus was the Joe Meeks. So kick and snare was running through the VC1s. Um, they sound great, man. The compressors are awesome. Um, they got vibe, they got color, they're kind of like old school, but with, with a new vibe as well. Um, I, I love those things, man. And, and for, for the money, I can't see, even if I sold them on eBay for four or five hundred bucks, man, I, 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 I just wouldn't. I just, they, they're, they're so cool. They're, they're, they're is there, great. Is there anything that tries to emulate it that's on the market right now that is just sort of like not really worth it, you think? or? No, I don't think they have new products out now too, and I actually like these better than a lot of the new stuff too. They they have that old vintage vibe, is what it is really more than anything. They 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 got a vintage kind of footprint on them. They have that old. They have kind of like a British vintage vibe to be more accurate. Okay. Um, kind of like they have color. Mm -hmm. They're not sterile, um, and I think that's what a lot of the old vintage gear has, like the old Neve preamps. Uh, the old API preamps, people love those today, and they're 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 in such demand because they have a they have a vibe, they have a color that doesn't sound like the other piece of gear. Um, if I want dead on accurate, I have my Millennials, and they're just what you give it is what you get. Although they have buttons on there, you could push and put a circuit into the chain there and make it colored if you want, or you could EQ it to give it some color. But um, you know, it's all about the melting pot of all this gear coming together and tracking with everything together so it's not the whole record was tracked through say the millennials the whole record was not tracked just through like the Chandler LTD one um, which is a knee vibe which is a knee really um, it's it's the whole soup thing man it, it comes together and it, and, it, and it makes you know you, you can't just put boiled water and soup and make it taste good. You put the chicken in, you throw some carrots, some onions, some garlic, whatever you're going to do. And that's what makes the soup cool when you're all done.